Fire Trump aide Omarosa today released yet another audio recording she secretly recorded. This time featuring Trump campaign staffers Lynn Patton and Katrina Pearson discussing a rumor that President Trump was caught on tape using the N-word. I said, well, sir, can you think of any time that this might have happened? And he said, no. Well, that's not you true. Know, how do you so he goes, how do you think that's what you just said, Omarosa, which is, well, it depends on what scenario you're talking about. And he said, well, why don't you just go ahead and put it to bed? I he don't know it. what the scandal is. Yeah, he said it. He's embarrassed. President Trump vehemently denies that he's been ever caught on tape using a racial slur. Joining me now for reaction is the one of the people you heard on that recording, Lynn Patton, currently a senior advisor to housing and urban development, uh, Secretary Ben Carson there. Uh, it is great to see you, Lynn. Thank you so much for joining us exclusively yes. tonight. Uh, great to be here, Laura. What, Thank tell, you. Tell us about that conversation that took place the recording we just heard, it was just a part of a recording from October of 2016. Sure. Amorosa, you, and Katrina Pearson. Of course. And first, I want to start off by saying thank you so much for retweeting my statement last night. You know, I know it's been getting picked apart today. And that's really why I'm here, is because, you know, there's something seriously wrong with society when a woman can run around the White House and surreptitiously record people, possibly in violation of his of her own national security contract. But yet Katrina and I are the ones who have to come on national television and explain ourselves. Um, you know, I've made it very clear, and I stand by my statement that I released last night, that, um, you know, the audio tapes that she's released, first of all, conflate two different conversations. One is with me, Almarosa, and Katrina. The other is also with me, Almarosa, Katrina, and Jason. But um, the, the distinction is, is muddled. Uh, and, you know, what you're hearing really, in my opinion, is not only verification that the president said very early on and very sternly and immediately that he did not use this derogatory term. But, you know, the more I hear this recording, what you're also hearing is a woman, Almarosa, who outright interrupts me during this, this interview and says, he said it, that's a lie. And, you know, why would she go work for him if, if that was the case? Well, was she interrupting you, you think, at that point in the recording? She knew she was recording it, and she wanted her own little insurance policy? Because she wanted to get it on the record that, oh, no, he said it. And well, you know... You raise a good point because uh, even my boyfriend this morning had said to me that, you know, the reason why Almarosa kept bringing this elusive N-word tape up is because she used it as opportunity to surreptitiously record me, obviously Katrina, possibly other people. Uh, this was something, you know, Almarosa has been obsessed with the N-word since 2004, when on Oprah Winfrey she accused uh, one of the uh, apprentice contestants of calling her the N-word. Well, what go, what, but you were a friend of hers, Lynn, and and you're a very well-respected person within the administration. Uh, Thank you. I've heard that from a lot of different yep. people, from a lot of different parts of the government. You're extremely well-respected. So you, you said last night that you never participated in a conference call with Omarosa and Katrina, and yet then we hear a recording of you in a <laughs> conference call with Omarosa. <laughs> Omarosa. So I, I read that, and I... Yeah, I was like a no, little confused. That's, like, where, that's where, where did, I wanna, that's how did you forget I that? Clarify, Laura. What I said expressly was that we refuted what Omarosa had told Chuck Todd and Savannah Guthrie, which was that we participated in a conference call that confirmed Frank Luntz had heard Donald Trump say the N word. That never happened. Ah, okay. But what but, so you did participate to, in calls, but just not right. a call no. as and it was fact, described by her. We never denied multiple calls about the elusive N word tape or apprentice tape because Almarosa, again, was obsessed with, with this imaginary and, and, quite frankly, fictitious figment of her imagination, uh, which I now know to believe. But uh, she was, what, she was Lynn, obsessed what, with tracking down something that she created. Lynn, um, Lynn, Lynn what, what kind of person is she? You were you friends know, with her, right? Yeah, I mean, obviously, she's known the president for 15 years. She was extremely loyal to him up until the day she wasn't. 
Um, you know, the president obviously is extremely loyal to people who are loyal to him. He gave her multiple, multiple chances. And what's really sad here, Laura, is that the president gave her an opportunity to really help the African American community. And instead, she did the exact opposite by blocking, you know, reputable Republicans, uh, black Republicans, and influential members of the community to advance her own standing to the detriment of this White House. Uh, this was what she said today with Katie Turr responding to mm -hmm. President basically saying it's good that John Kelly fired her like a dog. Let's watch. The president called you a dog this morning. What's your reaction? I think that it just shows you that if he would say that publicly, what else would he say about me privately? He has absolutely no respect for women, for African Americans, as evidenced by him instructing the chief of staff to lock me for two hours in the situation room to harass me, to threaten me and say that things could get very ugly for me and that there would be damage to my reputation. Let's he is unfit to be in this office and to serve as the president. You know? Your reaction, Lynn? Well, you know, as I was saying earlier, the president has called a lot of people dogs. He's called Mark Cuban a dog. He's called Robert Patterson a dog. He's called Bill Maher a dog. He's called Mitt Romney a dog. I mean, to me, that's not something that's either racial or, uh, you know, uh, specific to uh, Almarosa. Um, what he's doing is fighting back against somebody who has wronged him. And he has every right to do that by any means necessary. You know, Omarosa is in what I consider a purgatory. Neither the right or the left wants to claim her. And yeah, the so... left is taking her now, though. <laughs> Lynn, right, the left, and... is, left is glomming onto her now. Well, well, real quick, do you know why she was fired? Really why she was fired? Well, you know, I'm reading just like everybody else that it has to do with, obviously, grave violations of... Was of, she riding uh, around on a vehicle, a government vehicle? Well, to, like, you know, I can, I can actually verify that one time... She asked me if we were, I was at, with her at the White House. She said that she had to go meet somebody at this restaurant on 7th Street. Um, you know, we both lived across the street from each other and, and different uh, on Pennsylvania Avenue. We went uh, via a White House car service to this restaurant. As soon as we walked in, she said, Lynn, don't turn around, but has the SUV left yet? And I looked and, I, and he was still sitting there. And she said, they're on to me. They're waiting to see if I come out of this restaurant because it was really only two blocks away from her apartment. And it, <laughs> and it occurred to me what she was doing. Oh, and yeah. here I That's am cute. standing in the foyer of this restaurant with yeah. Omarosa trying to hide. Um, oh you know, well, and, the, and I said and the, uh, the hostess is looking at us and I'm mortified because I thought we were actually meeting somebody there. Okay. So, well, so you know, she used this government was, vehicles this was her, for personal This was her trips. M.O. Yeah. That was yeah, her well, M.O. All right, Lynn, and thank you so much for joining us tonight. I just want to uh, say one last thing, yeah, Laura. real quick. The American people are sick of hearing about Am Omarosa. You said they're sick of hearing about Stormy Daniels, and they're sick of hearing about collusion. It's time we focus about on the things that they really need, our jobs, economy, health care, and infrastructure. And that's what my boss is doing. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't work for a racist president, and neither would any of the people I you know You couldn't in this pay me enough money. There's not enough money in the world. Bingo. Uh, thank Lynn, you. Thanks, thanks so much. Thank you Up so much.